Today, I'm going to run you through a mat pilates routine that focuses a little bit more on upper body strengthening. We're going to add in a little bit of mobilization of the shoulder blades and also teach you how to stabilize the shoulders. Because as we work the upper body, we want to focus on not letting the shoulders lift up towards the ears, which then tightens up all the muscles in the neck. Instead, we want to focus on strengthening up muscles in the shoulders, in the chest, and in the upper back and the mid back as well. So you can expect exercises that work those areas as we run through your routine today. We're gonna start first with just a little bit of easy lateral breathing. Lateral breathing, also known as ribcage breathing, is what we focus on in Pilates. We're gonna sit in whichever way is most comfortable for you. I'm gonna sit in a low kneeling position. You're gonna place your hands on the last three or four ribs of your rib cage. I want you to think that someone is pulling your spine up towards the ceiling and you have a hot cup of coffee that's sitting on the top of your head, so you need to keep your coffee nice and steady. Hands come down to the last three or four ribs of your rib cage and think of your rib cage as an umbrella. On the inhale, we open up the umbrella, breathing into the front as well as the back of the ribs. And on the exhale, you let the air out from your mouth, pursing your lips like you're gonna put on lipstick or like you're blowing out all your candles on your birthday cake and it's your 100th birthday. Let's try that five more times for a total of six. Inhale in through the nose, you exhale from the mouth, let the rib cage slide back down together. We inhale and exhale. Three more times. You're going to start to feel the muscles in your back waking up as you go through this breathing routine. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed. Don't lift and lower your chest and think about breathing into the spaces in your back as well. One last one, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna add a little bit of arm movement to this now. Arms are reaching down by your side. You're gonna inhale, and as you inhale, we lift the arms up overhead without popping the ribs, shoulders stay relaxed, and on the exhale, we circle the arms forward, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, the shoulder blades glide up, but the shoulders are not lifting up towards your ears. Exhale, reach the arms out in front as you bring them back down by your side. Let's do that four more times for a total count of six. Arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, you pull back down. Watch the movement of my shoulder blades as I do this. Inhale, shoulder blades glide up. Exhale, we pull back down. Two more times, making sure you're not lifting your shoulders up towards your ears. Draw your shoulder blades down. And one last one. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. And exhale, we pull back down. We go in the opposite direction now. Six times, continuing with the lateral breathing. Inhale, arms reach up, shoulders go down and away. Exhale, reach the arms out by the side as you come down. This is a great exercise, not only to work on warming up the muscles in your back, but it's also going to work a little bit of those shoulders. You start to feel them burning by now. Last three, reaching out, keep the neck long. And two, keep that cup of coffee on the top of your head nice and steady. One last one, allowing the shoulder blades to move freely. Now, speaking of shoulder blades, your shoulder blades should have the ability to move in six different ways. We talk about a protraction and a retraction. We talk about elevation and depression, and then an upward rotation and a downward rotation. Your shoulder blades should not be stuck to your ribs. You want to make sure that they can glide in this manner. So we're gonna to start to get those shoulder blades to move a little bit. The first one we're gonna work on is protraction, retraction. 
Reach your arms up at level with the chest. Palms are facing in towards each other. Your shoulders stay down and away from your ears. You can lift your shoulders up. From here, we're gonna work on the arm bone and the shoulder blade working together. So, on your inhale, you're gonna reach your arm bone and your shoulder blade forward, separating those shoulder blades out nice and wide along the back. On the exhale, we drive the arm bone and the shoulder blade back in, focusing on pinching the bottom tip of the shoulder blades together. Inhale, arms and shoulder blades slide forward. Exhale, we pull back. Let's do that five more times, reaching forwards and pulling back. Shoulders stay down and away from the ears. You should feel the muscle between the bottom tip of the shoulder blades working as you reach forward and back. Last two, watch the movement of my shoulder blades and back. One last one, glide those shoulder blades wide, pull them back and together. So that is our protraction retraction. The shoulder blades should also be able to ride up the back and back down, also known as elevation depression. Let's get that movement going next. Arms reaching up towards the ceiling. Fingertips are reaching up, palms are facing forward. On the inhale, we're going to reach the shoulders up towards the ears, drive the shoulder blades up. And on the exhale, we're going to draw the shoulder blades down and in. So make a nice J-shaped curve with your shoulder blades, pinching the bottom tip together. Let's do a total of six more to bring the count up to seven. Inhale, shoulder blade glide up. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down and in. Making sure as you're doing this, you're not popping your ribs forward. Keep your ribs over your hips. We reach up, inhale. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down and in. Let's do that two more times. And inhale, shoulder blades like up. Exhale, shoulder blades like down and in. One last one, up. And shoulder blades glide down and in. And the third movement now that we work into is an upward and downward rotation of the scapula, also known as your shoulder blades. Palms are facing out to the side and palms are facing forward. Here, we're going to draw a nice semicircle along the sides, reaching the arms up and letting the shoulder blades rotate upwards and reaching the arms back down, letting the shoulder blades glide back down. As you do this, you should be able to see your arms out the corners of your eyes. So once again, don't pop your ribs forward as you do this. We're going to do a total of seven. This is number three. And inhale, exhale for four. Watch the movement of my shoulder blades from the back. Inhale, exhale, five. Last two, making sure again you're not lifting your shoulders up. Draw the shoulder blades down and away from the ears. One last one and reach out. Now that our shoulder blades are nicely warmed up and moving well along the back, we're going to take it into another exercise that is going to work on stabilizing the shoulders. We're going to work into an exercise called sternum drops. Sternum drops helps to really work on a muscle that wraps around from the back into the armpits and works in with your chest muscle. This muscle, known as the serratus anterior, really helps to stabilize the shoulders. We're going to come down onto all fours. Hands are going to come right underneath the shoulders and knees are underneath the hips. I want you to think that you are a heavy suitcase. And the handlebar of your suitcase is lying right in between the shoulder blades. We're going to lower the suitcase down. And as we lower the suitcase down, the chest bone falls down in between the hands. Now as we lift the suitcase up, you're going to separate the shoulder blades out, draw the shoulder blades away from the ears, and the suitcase gets lifted up. Again. Lower that breastbone down, lowering the shoulder blades away from the ears and press it out and away. As we lower down, we're going to do this six more times. Make sure that 
that your shoulders are not riding up towards your ears. And as you lift back up, again, keep the shoulders out of the way and press through the pinky side of the finger. We lower down, inhale. We lift up, exhale. You should be feeling the muscle that I mentioned earlier that wraps around the back and comes in through the armpit, starting to work. Three more, inhale and exhale. And two, make sure your ears are over your shoulders. One last one, and we push up. From here, we're gonna take it back now to the essence of Pilates, which is working some of those core muscles. And we're gonna go into an opposite arm leg reach. So we want to think again now, your hot cup of coffee is sitting at the small of your back. Your hip bones are pointing straight down to the floor. Knees are right underneath the hips. Hands are right underneath your shoulders. Ears over the shoulders, so don't pigeon your head forward. Draw those abs in nice and strong. We take a deep inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we reach left arm and right leg. Reaching out long and strong without changing the position of the hip bone. Inhale at the top. And on the exhale, we lower back down to the starting position. We go to the opposite side. We reach. Inhaling as we reach. And exhale to lower back down. Draw those abdominals in nice and strong. We're going to do that four more times to each side. Exhale, slowly back down. Focusing on keeping the length through the spine. Ears over the shoulders. Ribs over the hips. And the hips are directly over the knees. We exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Remember, every time something lifts, Something else needs to ground down. So when we lift left arm and right leg, the right arm and the left knee have to ground down nice and strong. We lower back down. Again to the opposite side. Keep the reach really working through the back of the body. One last one to each side. We reach neck long, shoulders down, back down, and to the opposite side. We reach. And lower back down. You should feel the entire back chain working as you do that, as well as your abdominals helping to stabilize you. From here now, we're gonna take it into a fantastic upper body strengthening exercise, which is push-ups. We're gonna do a modified push-up here as we are working at a beginner level. If you do feel strong enough, you can take it to a full plank position to do a full push-up. We're gonna do three variations on our push-up. The first one, hands are going to come underneath the shoulders, knees are slightly out from the hips. We're going to do a simple push-up taking the elbows wide. Make sure that you are a straight line from the top of your head to your knee. We cross the angles if you want and like I mentioned you can lift the feet up and come to your plank position. From here, on the inhale, we're going to lower the chest down into the hands. Take the elbows out wide. Everything lowers from the head to the hips. Exhale, we press back up. Inhale, we lower. And exhale, we lift. We're going to do that six more times. Making sure you're focusing again on keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Press down through the pinky side of the finger. Keep your collarbones wide. And don't let your butt remain up. Everything goes down. Everything comes back up. Again, for three. And exhale. And two. Feel the chest and the shoulders and the triceps working. One last one. And we come up. Take a rest. Sit back down onto your heels. Reach your arms out in front. If you need to rotate those wrists out, you can. Like I say, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So you need to use those wrists to help strengthen up your forearms. The next variation that we go into now, we're going to turn the fingers in to work a little bit more of the upper chest muscles. So here we go. Fingers are reaching in towards each other. Knees come out from behind the hips. And from here again, drawing those abs in strongly, squeezing through the backs of the legs. Inhale, we lower the chest down between the hands. Everything lowers down. Exhale, we come up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Six more times for a total count of eight. And six. Stay with me. And five. Draw those abs in nice and strong. 
and four. Don't let your head pigeon forward. And three. Keep the backs of the legs active. Press up for two. One last one. And exhale. Woo. Sit back down onto your heels again. Reach those arms out in front. Lower your chest down onto your thighs and your forehead down onto your mat. Take two deep breaths before we go into our last variation of the push-ups, which is the tricep variation. In this variation, it's a little bit more challenging. You're really going to feel the backs of your arms working now. So when you're ready, come back up into your same position. Hands are right underneath the shoulders. Walk the knees out slightly so they're not right underneath the hips. Cross the ankles if you want to. And from here, we're going to keep the elbows really nice and close to the body. As we inhale and lower down, exhale, we lift up. Still focusing on not letting the shoulders lift up towards the ears. Here we go. Eight times. Inhale, draw those abs in nice and strong. Exhale up. As you lower down, don't pigeon the head forward and try not to let that chest sink. And we lift. Four, six. Elbows stay close to the body. And five. Feel the backs of the arms working. Lift for four. And three. Don't let those hips sink. Four, two. One last one. And up. And sit back down onto those heels again. Reach those arms out in front. Press your chest down onto your thighs. Sitting in this position really helps you to breathe into your back. So if you had a difficult time at the beginning with the lateral breathing, sit in this position which will force you to breathe into the spaces in your back rather than up into your chest. Take two more deep breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. One more time deep. Inhale. And exhale. Now join me to sit up. We're going to go into a seated side stretch here. Stretch out a little bit of that back that we just worked up before we continue forward. You're going to sit up. You have three different positions you can sit in. You can either sit with the legs extended straight out in front, sitting up on the bony joints in your butt. You can sit in a low kneeling position if you've got healthy knees, or you can sit cross-legged or whichever way is most comfortable for you. I'm going to sit with my legs reaching straight out in front. I'm sitting up on the bony joints in my butt. My legs are zipped together and I'm bringing my hands up at level with my shoulders. Shoulders draw down and away and I want to make sure again that the hot cup of coffee that is sitting on the top of my head is sitting nice and steady. Someone is lifting me up out of my hips so I stay up on those bony joints in the butt. Legs stay zipped together and we're going to side bend to the right first. On the inhale, lower the right hand down to the hip, reach up and over. Feel a big stretch to the entire left side of the body as you reach up and over, anchoring that left hip down so you don't want to see the hip lift up. Someone has cemented your hips down onto your mat. Exhale, we come all the way back up to the starting position and we go to the other side. Inhale, we reach up and over. Don't sit back. Make sure you're sitting up tall. Exhale, back to the starting position. We're going to do that five more times to each side. Grow tall first. Reach over. Anchoring the hip bones down. Don't slouch. Don't sit back. Sit up tall. And exhale, back up to the top. Inhale, legs stay zipped together, reaching out in front. And exhale. Make sure you're tipping that head as well. And as you reach over to the right side, anchor the left hip down. And exhale to come up. Again, this is the third repetition. And exhale, two more times to each side. Inhale, reach up and over. And exhale. Keep the elbows soft on the hand that is down on the mat. And exhale, one more time. Deep inhale. Think of that big beach ball and it's sitting on your side. You've got to get up and over that big beach ball. And exhale, one last time. Inhale, reach up and over. Looking straight out in front. Exhale, we come back up to our starting position. Now that we've stretched out the back a little bit, we're going to work the back chain again one more time into an exercise called a modified reverse plank. 
Reverse plank is a fantastic exercise, again, to strengthen up the shoulders, the backs of your arms. It opens up the chest, but you're going to feel the entire backside of your body through this exercise. We start with the knees bent. Feet are flat down on the floor. Butt is down onto your mat, and your hands are going to come down onto your mat. Fingers are pointing towards your toes. The distance between your heels and your butt, and your butt and your hands should be the same. So in essence, your butt is sitting right in between your heels and your hands. There should be about a six to eight inch difference between those spaces. We take a deep inhale, making sure hips, knees, and ankles are in line. And we exhale, drawing those abdominals in nice and strong. And now this time, on the inhale, we press the hips up and forward, pressing down firmly through the feet down to the knees and trying to become a flat tabletop at the top here. On the exhale, lower the hips down, bringing them back down to the same position in which they were in, right in the center between your heels and your hands. Let's do that seven more times for a total count of eight. And we inhale, press the hips up and forward, gaze to the knees, open up the collarbone, press down firmly through the feet and the hands, and exhale, we lower back down. Feel the backs of the arms working as you press up and forward. Make sure you're not losing your head back here. Keep the gaze to the knees, draw those abs in strongly. Exhale, we lower back down. And again for five, knees up and forward. Tweeze through the backs of the legs. Really squeeze those butt cheeks together and slowly down. For four, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Open up those collarbones and exhale. And again for three. By now the back of the body should really be talking to you. Slowly down. Last two, press the weight firmly into the big toe as well. So the hips and knees and ankles stay in line. Slowly down. One last one, stay with me. And we press forward, inhale. Breathe into the spaces in the back. And exhale, we lower back down. Rotate those wrists out if you need to. And we're gonna lie it down on the side now to release those arms one more time in a lovely exercise called pinwheel arms. Pinwheel arms is going to add in a little bit of that mobility to the shoulders that we did earlier. And it's also gonna work on rotating the spine to help nourish those discs in the vertebrae, in between your vertebrae. So, lying down on your side now. You're gonna bring your upper body in line with the back edge of your mat. Bottom arm is reaching out in front. Top arm is on top of the bottom arm. Relax your head down. If this is uncomfortable, you can always place a cushion or a pillow underneath your head to lift your head up a little bit. We start first with the movement of protraction. So the arm bone and the shoulder blade guide forwards towards me. From here, we circle the arm up on top Trying to keep the arm as parallel to the floor. Take the arm back behind. Follow those fingers as they reach back behind you. Come back to the hips. And stack those arms one on top of the other. Reach the arm bone and the shoulder blade forward. Circle the arm up and around. Try to keep the arm down onto the floor as much as possible. And as the arm travels back behind you, press the top hip forward to keep the hips stacked one on top of the other. Let's do that three more times for a total count of five. We circle the arm up and over. Feel the shoulder blade gliding up, then gliding down. And we stack the arms one on top of the other. So we go into a protraction, an elevation, a little bit of downward rotation, and then depression, and back up to a neutral shoulder blade. And last two, up and around. Circle back behind. Stack those arms up, one on top of the other by the end. One last one. Try to follow those fingers, but remember as the arm travels back behind, you should feel a big stretch of the chest, but keep those hips stacked. And over. We flip over to the other side to do the same movement on the other side. We're gonna do a total of six on the other side as well. Palms are stacked one on top of the other. Head is resting down. Reach the arm forward. Arm bone and shoulder blade glide. Up overhead. Back behind you. Hands 
come one on top of the other and stack them up again. Remember that hot cup of coffee? You should feel a nice big stretch to the chest as the arm goes back behind you, opening up the shoulder, but try not to let those hips drop back behind. Arms come one on top of the other again. And again for four. Circle the arms, turn the head as well. So part of your spine is your neck. So you wanna make sure you keep that neck nice and supple. The only way you're gonna do that is through movement. And on top, last two, circle back. Keep the arm as long and strong and straight as you possibly can. And stack back up. One last one, you should feel this lovely chin stretch to your chest, to your back, and to your shoulders. And back up. We're gonna roll over onto our backs now. And we're gonna change gears for just a second as we take it into a little bit of abdominal work. After all, the essence of Pilates is working the core. So here we go. We're gonna do three exercises here on our back. The first one is our single leg stretch. Lie down on your back. Now, your hot cup of coffee is sitting underneath your belly button and there's a grape sitting at the small of your back. So don't squash your grape and don't spill your coffee. Coffee stays steady, grape stays, stays warm. So your hip bones are pointing straight up to the ceiling. The first one, single leg stretch. We pull the right knee in towards the chest, right hand goes to the right ankle, left hand to the right knee. Stretch the left leg out long and strong, point those toes real nice and pretty. We take a deep inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, we curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Take the gaze to the belly button. Keep that tailbone heavy. Press the front of the ribs to the hips to lift the head up. Back of the ribs are pressing down into the mat. We inhale, exhale, we switch the legs. Upper body stays steady. Left hand to left ankle, right hand to left knee. Inhale, exhale, and we switch. Inhale, exhale, and we switch. Keep the gaze to the belly button. Four more times to take the count to six. Inhale, exhale. And again for three. Keep the neck long. Inhale, exhale. And two. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, exhale. One last one. Inhale, exhale. And to the opposite side. Pull both the knees in towards your chest. Lie the head, neck, and shoulders down for a second. We're going to go into our second exercise to work on strengthening the core and the abdominals, which is our double leg stretch. Knees are together, legs are zipped together. Place your hands underneath your knees on your shins. Again, coffee and grapes stay steady. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale, curl the head, neck and shoulders up. Take the gaze to the belly button. Shoulders stay down, elbows stay wide. Inhale, reach the legs out, arms up overhead. Exhale, we pull everything in. A total of six. Inhale and exhale. Give me four more. Upper body stays steady. Press the front of the ribs to the hips. Press the backs of the ribs into the mat. And again, for three. And exhale. And two. Don't tip your coffee. Exhale. One last one. And exhale. Roll the head, neck, and shoulders down. Relax. The third exercise, we're going to involve a little bit of rotation now. We're going to go into an exercise called crisscross or bicycle. Hands come back behind the head. Your elbows are visible in your peripheral vision. We draw the right knee in towards the chest. Left leg extends up. I'm going to lift my left armpit to my right hip. As I exhale, lift and rotate. Inhale, exhale, I switch to the other side. As I do this movement, my legs are scissoring in and out. We're going to do this five more times to each side for a total count of seven. Inhale, exhale. And four. Inhale, exhale. Keep that coffee steady. Keep the shoulders down and away from the ears. And three. And switch. And two. And switch. And one. And switch. And slowly roll back down. Pull those knees in towards your chest. Rock back and forth. We're going to take it into a lovely stretch now for the full body. One of my personal favorites. This is Angels in the Snow. Bring the knees 
down, the feet flat down onto your mat. Your knees are pointing up towards the ceiling. We're going to reach the right arm up overhead, palm is facing up the ceiling. Left hand down by your side, palm is facing down. Lower the knees one on top of the other, over to the right side. Take your knees away from your chest as you lower them down and look over your left shoulder. Your shoulder blades will remain anchored down, but your lower back is lifted. We take a deep inhale and on the exhale, we slide the arms along the floor to switch the arms, switch the legs. Palm is facing down on the right side, left is up, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, exhale, we slide the arms along the side, switch the knees, switch the gaze to look over the left shoulder again. Feel those shoulder blades gliding up and down, nice and easy. Make sure the neck is also turned, try to get the cheek down onto the mat as much as possible. Inhale, exhale. Letting those knees lower one on top of the other, pulling them away from the chest. And again, four more times. Inhale, exhale. Feel that big stretch to the back. Inhale, exhale. Mobilize your shoulder blades and your neck. Shoulders stay down away from the ears. Again, last two. Keep those shoulders anchored. One last one. Look over the shoulders. Bring the knees back up. Bring the hands down by your sides. We're going to take it from here into some roll-ups. A traditional mat pilates exercise that really focuses on abdominal strengthening, core control, as well as spinal mobility. We're going to stretch the legs out, zipping them together on the mat. Pull your toes up towards your face. Arms are reaching down by your sides. Pull your hip bones away from your thighs. Inhale, arms float up overhead, but don't pop the ribs up. Press the backs of the ribs down to keep that strong connection with your abdominals. On the inhale, the arms float up to the ceiling, and then we start to exhale and slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time, reaching the upper body up over the legs while staying up on the bony joints in the butt. On the exhale, we roll back down, maintaining a nice C-shaped curve through the spine as you roll down. Head comes down at the very end. Inhale, arms come up overhead. And on the exhale again, pull the arms up. Try not to jerk yourself up. In Pilates, the slower you go, the more control you have, which means the stronger you are. Upper body comes up and over that big beach ball on your lap. Breathe into the spaces in the back here. And then on the exhale, we roll back down. We're going to do that four more times. So take the count to a total of six. Inhale, arms come up. Ribs stay down. Exhale, float the arms up first. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders. Press the backs of the ribs into your mat to help float you up. Reach up and over that big beach ball. Inhale into the spaces in the back. Open up that rib cage nice and wide along the back. And exhale, we roll down. Lower back. Mid back. Pulling the hip bones away from the thighs as you roll down. Anchoring the backs of the legs down into the mat. Inhale. And continue to inhale as the arms float up. Exhale, we roll up. Press the backs of the legs down. Reach up and over. Breathing into the spaces in the back. And exhale, we roll back down. Let's go for one more. And on the last one, making sure you stay up at the top. Inhale. And exhale, press down firmly into the mat. Focus on creating that spine in a nice round position, like a C-shaped curve. Reach up and over the legs. And then from here, stack up to sit up nice and tall. We're going to end with a little bit of lateral breathing again. That we started with, so our ribcage breathing. Sit in whichever way is most comfortable for you. This time I'm going to sit back again into my low kneeling position. Get a little bit of a stretch to my legs. And we're going to place the hands again on the last three or four ribs in the ribcage. Growing tall up to the ceiling. This is one of the best exercises 
exercises to do throughout the day. You can do lateral breathing five to six times a day. It's a great way to wake up all the muscles in the back, which might have gotten tight after sitting for hours hunched over, or if you don't have very good posture, here's a really great way to correct that posture. Your cup of coffee is sitting on the top of your head. Grow long and tall through the spine. Hands come down on the last three or four ribs of the ribcage. Again, remember it's an umbrella. On the inhale, breathe into the front of the backs of the ribs. And with a strong exhale from the mouth, like you're blowing out your birthday candles, let the ribcage slide back down. Inhale. Exhale. Four more times for a total count of six. And exhale. This time as you inhale, keep that chest relaxed. Try to breathe into the bottom of the ribs, opening it up nice and wide. As you exhale, exhale all the air out, drawing that belly button in towards the spine and then up towards the ribs. Three more times, deep inhale. Strong exhale. Two more with a smile on the face. And exhale. One more time, sit up tall, think positive, breathe in, and exhale. Thank you so much for joining me on this beginner level workout that really worked on strengthening as well as mobilizing the upper body. Remember that some of these exercises are things that you can do several times through the day such as the movement of the shoulder blades and protraction, retraction, elevation, depression, as well as our upward and downward rotation. So take a little bit of time out through your busy day to stand up and move your upper body just a little bit, but concentrate also on stabilizing your shoulders. So as the day goes by, see, are you hunching those shoulders up? Are you lifting those shoulders up towards the ears? Try to keep those shoulders down to be able to work the bigger muscles in the front and the back of the upper body. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you all soon.